Can you hear that? No. The police sirens? Oh yeah, the that's the national anthem of Seven Hills. <laughs> <laughs> I just think this is the best it's gonna get. That's literally my Instagram bio. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I was thinking. I know you're not thinking. You never do. Maybe you should just tell everyone what you're using. So I'm using the Australian Klein Cone Golden Clay Mask No Filter. Thanks. Cute. I'm also using a clay mask. Oh, beautiful. By L'Oreal. Do you know what the biggest, the saddest thing of my life is? And I genuinely believe this. Mm. Uh, I think, I think I look best with a face mask on. Oh, same. same. <laughs> I've actually been told that. My mum literally told me that the other day. I came out in a face mask and she was like, oh, all your blemishes have gone. No, I think that's actually it though. It, it, because it's the only time my skin has an even surface. Yeah. How long are you supposed to keep this on? Mine is until it dries, otherwise it'll take your face off. And like, it'll, <laughs> like, forget taking away the impurities. It'll take everything pure, impure. It'll just remove it all. That escalated quickly. I hate this lighting. I know escape from reality. Open your eyes. I should probably wash this on. Okay, I'm gonna go wash mine. A few moments later. I feel like it worked. I think we look brighter. So the first one that we're going to do... Can you put it... Can you project your screen, please? Yay. Thank you. Honey, she thinks she's better than everyone in this room. Um, you're looking for the foundation one. If you wear makeup, watch. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first, then after mo... Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Moisturize. All right, I'm using... The Do It VE Vitamin E face cream. Nice. That's for, but it, it doesn't have like a sexy name. It's from like Chemists R Us. We do pharmaceuticals well. <laughs> it's Hydration City. It's really nice. good. I'm using the Mecca Cosmetica um, to say face SPF. Oh, fancy bitch. <laughs> really not, but I love it. I've literally gone through like five bottles of this i love it so moisturizer done yeah now what after moisturizing take some translucent powder i usually use the fit me one and i just lightly dab it all over my face not okay. too much she said translucent powder lightly Trans dab not too much oh dear jesus Lord. i'm using the laura mercier translucent powder sisters sisters oh. should we do should we do a cheers <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So does she, how much does she put? Does she said slightly dab, not too much. Okay. Okay, next up. Then take some setting spray. It could be any setting spray. I usually use the NYX one. Okay, setting spray. I don't own that, so you can set your self away. Glam glue, glow setter, setting spray. That's exciting. Isn't that exciting, everyone? Jealousy is a killer in this industry. Okay. okay. Take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Okay. okay. I am using the Mecca Max Illuminating Primer. And this is actually really pretty even by itself. No, oh, that's fun. I am using the La Roche Posay. Ooh, nice. I actually do feel like that already makes my skin feel nicer. Like my skin's super dry. Mm. Like it drinks it up, but it's still got that plumpness. Mm, 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 mm. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing. Cool, let's put on foundation. I am using the NARS Sheer Glue. My shade is Aruba. My skin is a very complicated color, so I have to mix. And also my skin is so combination to the point that I also need to mix foundation types. So that was fun because then I had to like buy new makeup. And <laughs> that was so fun. Fun.
you know, you know when it, you know when your skin's just like good morning we've changed our mind that's um, that's my actual life i mix the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer and this one is in honey i mix it with the estee lauder double wear stay in place nice. and this one is in the shade rattan rattan <laughs> I actually don't use concealer, even though I probably should, considering I need to conceal this. <laughs> That's what the face mask's for. That's what the face mask's for. But, like, I do feel like how my skin feels, it feels really weightless. Like, there's nothing on it. Mm. It does. I, like I agree. I like the feeling. We should have, like, a criteria. How well does it work out of five? Like, would you do it again? Give it a 3.5. I think that it worked well in terms of how it make, makes my skin feel. Yeah, it worked. Like, it was like four out of five. It worked. I think it... Would I do it again? I think I would. Yeah, I'd do it again, but i do it for occasions. How about we do one each? You can do the soap one, and I'll do the eyeshadow one. So I'll be doing the soap brows. And I'm going to try the eyebrow eyeshadow hack. So I'm going to use, I don't know, I've never known how to say this brand's name, you know, Loxatan? Piranha jellies. Pre-slicked by gels. Bras and lion. PD Rogan, P. Rogue CD. Oh, Loxatan. That's it. Yeah, I've got their soap. I probably said that really wrong, so I'm going to get every French person DMing me. Um, I've got a spoolie, and then I've got the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I actually don't really have concealer, so I'm just going to use my foundation to clear it, clean that up. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked 2 Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, and I'm and a staple. It is staple indeed, and I'm going in with Blackout. Like, for example, if this is work that we're... Ew! Oh, my God! I look like a... <laughs> you look like um, Count Olaf. I am your beloved Count Olaf. You know what I love about this is that we're not going to have the opportunity to get our brows done for another, what, 90 days, yet we're m messing with them so freely. Yeah. Okay, time to see whether this shit works. I hate this. Sindhu, I hate this. Well, I'm done. And I literally, I look like a man. This is my, this is my transition video. <laughs> I'm coming out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate you. Have you seen me? I literally, I look like Cleopatra's brother, is who I look like. Yeah, I look like Ptolemy of Egypt. <laughs> I literally look like him. <laughs> we look the same. This is ridiculous. Hello. We're twins. We're twins. Yes, sir. Um, so I hated this hack. Um, <laughs> I can't say I'm a huge fan. How old did it work? Like negative 10? I'd give mine like a one. If you're not in the mood for eyeshadow, which every day I'm not, um, all you have to do is throw your bronzer in your crease and it'll make it look like you have like a put together look. Grabbing some of the bronzer on a blending brush. I'm just blending that into the crease. 
Add a little to your lower lash line. Add highlighter to the inner corner and the brow bone. Add mascara and then you're good to go. I'm gonna use some primer actually. So I'm using yeah. Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. Hula by Benefit. And I am using my Tarte bronzer. bronzer. So all she does is blend it into the crease. And she and does she highlight in a corner and brow bone. So for highlight, what are you are you using the same palette? I'm using the same palette. Yeah. Okay. I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics oh, Skin beautiful. Frost in King Tut. What would you rate that out of five? I actually don't mind this, but I just think that I could do this with normal shadow. Same. It worked three out of five. I'd say five out of five because it worked. Would I do it again? No. I probably would. I wouldn't do it again. So I'm using the Stila um, Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. Okay, I'm using the Essence Liner. Mine, I think that worked. Can you see oh yeah, it? yours did. Now, I feel like the issue with this is still getting mm. even. Oh, but look at that. Like, that still does work. No, it does work. But it's, just, it's definitely not even. No. I'm going to fill that in. The biggest challenge of winged eyeliner is getting it even. I feel, I feel like the best kind of hack would would make take that effort out. Yeah, look at the look at the height difference. Out of five, I'd probably give it a one. But no, I wouldn't do it again though. Yeah, I wouldn't do it again because it's just mm. so uneven. So guys, this is a mascara hat my grandmother taught me. Step one, put petroleum jelly on your two fingers and gently comb it in your eyelashes. Apply mascara only at the base. Comb your lashes with a clean spoolie. The hack is meant to save product and have beautiful light lashes. Yeah, she just puts Vaseline on. So for petroleum jelly, I'm using the wool, the home brand. <laughs> I'm going to use the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And once again, going in with my essence. Okay. I did it in my base only. To be honest, with but the Vaseline, I actually think that it, it looks really nice. Like, I feel like... Look up, look up. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, you can see yours. You know what's funny? Is the eyebrows are growing on me. Okay. I am going to use my Tartus palette again. Okay. I'm using a cream contour by uh, KKW Beauty in dark. Okay, for my nose, I'm going to use a powder one. I'm using the NARS Duo. Oh, I don't know whether I. Ooh, oh, I just. Oh my <laughs> god. Same. I had the three. I have the three issues. Well. I hate this. Oh my god, please blend. Yeah, I don't think it works. Yeah, both of them just pissed me off. <laughs> 
out of five, I'd give that a zero. And yeah. would I do it again? Um, maybe when hell freezes over. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not, I am not, um, I'm not. Have you ever had a dream that, that you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want, you, you could do so. I am not, um, the cutlery does not deserve that. <laughs> We're up to blush now. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you, God, for everything. Taking the ColourPop Just a Tint Lippy, applying it all over my cheeks. Fenty Beauty What It Do Spray. Blend it out. And bam! Okay, I'm using my Katie Keen um, lipstick. lipstick. It's in five Rosetto Rouge. Oh, that looks like a nice blush color. I'm using a MAC lipstick in Cream Sheen. It's a Cream Sheen oh, lipstick. Nice. It's called Party Line. Oh, I actually do mind this. Yeah, I like this. I actually like this one. It's a yes for me. <laughs> you've, been through, you've been through so much today. <laughs> I like that one. Me, me too. too. I'm a fan. Out of five. I'd give this a 4.5. Mm. Would I do it again? Yeah, I definitely would. I, I'll agree. I think, yeah, four out of five and I would do it again. So again, we're using petroleum jelly. Mm. I'm going to use my tart <laughs> again. I can use a Jeffree my Star My skin one. feels so good though. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, pretty. Can you see that? Oh my God, my nose looks yeah. like I'm Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. <laughs> I can't get rid of it. No, I can't get rid of it. I guess it's Christmas. Oh, wow. Look at that shine. That looks nice on you. How to make your lips look bigger. Overline the top of your lip called the cupid's bow and follow your natural line down to the corners and overline the bottom center of your bottom lip and follow that up to the corners, shade in the corners, apply lipstick and apply a lighter color to the center and boom. How to make your lips look bigger. Overline the top of your lip called the cupid's bow. Let's do that first. Oh. I am gonna actually line with a lipstick. An okay, I'm gonna lipstick. line with a, cause I don't have a lip liner so I'm gonna line with a brush. So overline your cupid's bow, follow the natural lines down to your corners. And then lighter lip color inside. What are your thoughts? I hated it. Cannot stand <laughs> overlining my lips. Yeah. I don't it on some people, but I hate it on myself. I think it looks good if you have like small lips. I look like a clown. <laughs> Summary. Um, I really like the skin. Yeah, I liked the blush and that. I, I kind of like the highlight. Like, if I was to go on like a second date with someone who I wanted to scare off, um, this is the this is the look I would come up with. Otherwise, I look like I look like Ptolemy of Egypt. Hello, we're twins. We're twins. Yes, sir. Hello.